I'd like to speak with your inner Anastasia. <laughs> Can you do this with me? Let's do it. Let's do it. No brands or breweries influence my daily beer. The opinions expressed are solely those of me, Sean Quinn. And me, Stacey Ryder. And this is my daily beer. Today, we spotlight another beer from Evil Twin Brewing. And this one is interesting. Some people are immune to good banana stout. Found this on the shelf yesterday at our local liquor store, which I love Evil Twin Brewing. We have talked about their brewery in the past. If you want to go back to episode 10, Evil Twin Brewing's Old Fashioned Lemonade IPA we spotlighted. But today... Day. You know, in this fall weather, when it gets cold, people start thinking about maybe the pumpkin beers. This might be a good alternative for you. Evil Twin Brewing. Some people are immune to good banana stout. Evil Twin is super interesting. They're actually brewed in 10 of the best breweries around the world. And I love that their mission is to disturb disorder and enlighten you with unforgettable beer after beer. Now, in episode 10, I had talked a little bit about the brewery and some of the legend behind it. Now, after talking to some brewer friends, I don't know if any of that legend is even true true, but what I do know is when I find a beer that I like. Wow, is that thick on that pour. Really, I'm looking at a head that is about half the size of the beer, and it's staying up there. You've got this big, dark, dark pour, brief brown head, but the chocolate and banana smell. Now, they say some people don't get the banana at all, and others are overwhelmed by it. Stacy, I got a lot of chocolate with a little bit of banana. It's just a big bite of chocolate. Kind of, maybe those chocolate-covered bananas? Okay, yeah, I get that well i got the banana on the nose and with the head maybe not so much in the stout itself but definitely a dark dark chocolate stout now we poured this out of the 16 ounce tall boy cans and you're looking at a 10.7 ABV. This is not one that you're going to be crushing multiples in the backyard with your buddies for very long. It's got a thick mouthfeel to it, but it doesn't have that overwhelming alcohol flavor to it. It really is, again, a great pre-football beer as we get ready for NFL action. Check it out. Evil Twin Brewing. Some people are immune to good banana stout. I know it's hard to find, but if you can come across it and you're into stouts, maybe not as much banana as you would expect from the label, but definitely one that I would recommend. Until next time, may your beers be cold. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Sean Quinn. And I'm Stacy Ryder. And join us again tomorrow for another My Daily Beer.